Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my first video. My name is Kirtan Shah. I'm an investment professional. I help invest clients money across asset classes like equity, debt, commodities, real estate using various instruments or vehicles like the mutual fund, PMS, AIF. Uh, idea is to help uh, investors reduce their risk and on risk adjusted ba basis better their uh, returns and help them reach their goal. Uh, so today is my first video. The objective of this YouTube channel is to help my retail investor friends uh, make invest investing decisions on their own uh, without anybody's help. Choose the right kind of strategy investment products and of course at any point in time you think I can do a better job I'll be more than happy to assist you uh, in managing your investments. So the first uh, video that I am going to record today is uh, on active versus passive investing. Now, uh, a lot of us today, uh, uh, I mean, I wrote a tweet uh, today in the morning that gave me the idea of, of uh, doing this particular video. And I'm going to take you to the tweet that actually got me to do this video. Uh, so in the tweet in the morning, I mentioned that at market bottoms, go for passive investing as it's difficult to predict which sector will do well when the market starts moving up. And at market top, you should always prefer investing in active investments because that will help you reduce your drawdowns. First, let me explain to you this tweet of mine is because I believe a lot of people who uh, uh, wrote a lot of criticism on the tweet that I did in the morning today have actually not understood what I wrote, right? So first, I'm saying when the markets are at bottom, you should do passive investing. What do I mean? So let's say while the Nifty was at 7,500 in March, right, which was the bottom, Instead of investing uh, somewhere else, you should have directly put your money in Sensex or Nifty through index funds or ETFs. That's called passive investing where you directly invest in the market through the mutual fund index and ETF. And when the market goes up, your fund value goes up almost the same proportion. And when the market falls, your value of the fund falls almost the same proportion. So when the markets are at the bottom, you should do passive investing invest directly in the index. But when you are at the top, let's say while the Nifty is at 15,000, you should do active investing. What is active investing? Instead of investing directly in the Sensex or Nifty, give it to a fund manager, uh, a mutual fund manager, who's not going to replicate Nifty or Sensex like it does in passive investing in index and ETF. But the fund manager will decide on her own or which stock does she wants to own and why. I think while the markets are at the top, active investing, uh, picking stocks by the fund manager will do a much better job than investing directly in the Sensex and Nifty. Right now, I got a lot of criticism when I actually wrote this. So this video is to help you understand why this strategy will really work in my opinion and I'm going to help you understand, demystify this with some data points. Of course, uh, all the criticism that I got through the tweet is most welcome. Most of them are my friends. I understand uh, the conversation and this is just uh, an idea that I got that will really add, in my opinion, a lot of value to retail investors. Now, why do I make this comment that passive investing will do well at market bottom? and active investing will do well at the market tops. Before I move ahead, look, it's practically impossible to be able to figure out when is the market going to top out and when is the market going to bottom out. So I'm not saying that you predict when will it top out or when will it bottom out. All I'm saying is at 7,500 when the market fell from 12,500 to 7,500, you know that the markets were close to the bottom, right? It could have fallen more, of course, but you knew you were close to the bottom. At 15,000 Nifty, I, I'm not saying that Nifty won't go up, but I'm saying that probably while you look at uh, it in the hindsight, you will realize that 15,000 Nifty was very close to where the market topped out, right? So I'm not saying you time when, to, uh, when it'll top out or bottom out, but all I'm trying to say is in your, in your basic understanding, if you think that the markets are lower, go for passive investing, invest directly in Sensex and Nifty. And if you think that the markets are higher, right go for active fund management and why why do i say that let me prove that to you with some interesting data points so what did i do right i did two things first of course i looked at the data 
from the 23rd of March 2020, right, where the Nifty bottomed out to the 16th of Feb 2021, where the Nifty topped out, right. So on the 23rd of uh, March 2020, Nifty was at close to 7,610 rupees on closing. And on the 16th of Feb 2021, Nifty hit 15,313 on the closing basis. So I took the bottom and I took the top, right? Now I am saying that had you invested on the 23rd of March when the uh, Nifty was at bottom, you should have ideally gone for a passive strategy, investing directly in Nifty and Sensex instead of choosing active investment. Now why do I say so? Let me show you some data points, right? So if I choose Nifty, which bottomed out at 7610 and topped out at 15313 Nifty gave a return of 101% in this period from 23rd of March 2020 to 16th of Feb 2021. Now let me, now I have here highlighted or taken all active large cap mutual funds, right, which were present at that point in time right data is available right i might have missed out on three four uh, uh, amcs or funds and i'll tell you why i have let them go off because while i was trying to do the down market situation which was between 2015 and 16 these funds didn't exist which is why i have eradicated those funds that didn't exist in 15 16 otherwise i've broadly taken all funds that are today available or rather they were available in 15 16 as well uh, in the large cap category now, what have I done? So each of these funds, I have figured out what was their NAV when the market bottomed out on the 23rd of March 2020 and what was their NAV when the market topped out on the 16th of Feb 2021 and I've done that for all funds. So like say for example, ICICI Blue Chip, the NAV on the 23rd of March 2020 was 28. And when the market topped out, which was 16th of Feb 2021, the NAV was 56, which means ICICI Blue Chip Fund gave a 97% return in the same period, right? Now, what did I tell you? I told you when you are at the bottom, if you discuss about investing on the 23rd of March 2020, while you were at the bottom, Nifty was 7,610, you should have invested directly in the index and not through active funds. Why? Is because Nifty gave 101% returns and all the other funds except two funds in the entire universe, everybody underperformed Nifty. This fund gave 98, 74, 85, 90, 89, 91, 96. This is one fund that outperformed which is Franklin Blue Chip. Everybody else underperformed 96%, 95, so on and so forth. There are funds which gave 75%. There is this another fund which gave you more than the index which was 104. So we are saying there were only two funds in this period on the active side when the market bottomed out and then when it topped out in that period there were only two funds which could beat the index. Index gave 101% return, Franklin Blue Chip gave 102% return so it beat the index by 1% and you have the SBI Blue Chip which gave 104% return which means that it beat the index by 3%. Which means that out of the universe of 28 funds that qualify for this study that I did, only two funds, two funds out of 28 funds could actually beat the index when the markets were going up. That is a mere 7% of the total funds universe outperforming the market. Which is why I am telling you that when you think that the markets are at bottom end, they are going to go up from here. You should always choose investing in index funds instead of doing active fund uh, investing. Now let's talk about the reverse. Let's talk about the reverse, right? So let's say when the markets fell. So in the tweet I wrote, when you are at the top and from there if the market starts going down, you should ideally invest in active funds and not do ETF or index investing. So what I did was I went back uh, and took some data points where I understood that when was it the last time that the markets fell 20% okay before this fall happened that we are talking about. When was it that the markets fell 20% and 
and I understood that it was between the 4th of March 2015 to the 26th of Feb 2016. So between this period from the 4th of March 2015 to the 26th of Feb 2016, index actually fell 21%. So whenever the index falls below 20%, you call it a recession, right? So Nifty closed at 8922 on the 4th of March 2015 and it was 7030 on 26th of Feb 2016. So this is the period where the market fell more than 20%. Now, like I told you, if on the 4th of March 2015 had you wanting to do investing, where probably in this example I'm trying to explain that it was the top and from there market would have fell. I know it is impossible to predict but I'm saying it's easier when you have 15,000 nifty and you have 7,500 on the nifty you know it is close to the top and bottom. But look at this now. So from 8,922 when the nifty started falling to 7,030 you should have actually done active investing. Why? is because in this period between 4th of March 2015 and 26th of Feb 2016, index fell 21%. While index fell 21%, while index fell 21%, there were only three funds which fell more than the index on the active fund management space. This was one fund which fell 24%. There was this another fund which fell 1% more, 22%. And there was this another fund which fell 3% more which is 25%. Now imagine from the top when the market started falling down out of the universe of 28 schemes 25 schemes fell less than the market right that is exactly where the fund managers skill of picking the right stock comes into picture and hence while you think that you are at the market tops and the markets are supposed to fall right or probably not go up much more than that always choose active funds today while the nifty is at 15,000 index in my opinion we are close to top active will do much better than passive but at 7,600 while nifty was close to the bottom passive investing would have done much better better than active so if you look at the universe of 28 uh, large cap schemes that we are studying only three underperformed the index and that underperform underperformance was very small 2% 1% and 3% right which means close to 90% of your schemes while the markets were falling active schemes outperformed the index and which is why I tell you that when the markets are at top you should always look at uh, putting your money into active funds because that might do a slightly better job for you than investing in in the index now there is something very interesting that I really also want to show you right and uh, that is look at a couple of these funds so let's say look at look at this fund of ours which has fallen 54 percent right do you see 54 so while while the markets fell from the 23rd of March 2020 to 16th of uh, to 16th of uh, uh, sorry uh, this fund has underperformed the index my bad this fund has underperformed the index by 54%, right? Where the markets went up by 101%, this fund only went up by 47%, right? Which means when the markets were going up, this fund underperformed the market by 54%, 54%, right? But look at the same fund, same fund's performance when the markets were falling. When the markets were falling, Markets fell 21% but the same fund fell 19%, right? Look at this other data point. Look at this other data point. Let's say, let's say this fund of ours, which underperformed the market by 27% when the markets were going up. Markets gave 101% return, this fund gave 74% returns. But the same fund outperformed the market by 4% when the index went up uh, went down 21% this fund only fell 17% the point that I'm trying to make is again repeating myself that while markets fall while markets fall or markets are at the top in my opinion active strategy is much better place to stay invested when the markets are at bottom uh, uh, 
investing in the index or ETF or doing indexing or passive investing is much better than, than uh, doing active investments. Right? I've written a couple of more points. Let me just see if I've not missed out on anything. Okay, perfect. I think I've covered everything that I really wanted to convey to all of you all in this uh, video. I hope you've liked this video of ours. I'm going to record a lot of videos across equities, uh, markets, valuation, sectors, debt markets, commodities, macroeconomics, technical analysis, fundamentals, derivatives. And I'm sure if you subscribe uh, to the channel, you will end up learning a lot of things. While you subscribe, do not forget to click the bell icon next to it so that you receive a notification while uh, I upload a video. And I'll be extremely happy if at all any of you all would need any help. Please comment, tell me how the video was, like, share it and uh, encourage us to uh, do much better in the coming future. We also have two very interesting courses that we've uh, recorded which are paid on how to select the right debt fund and how to select the right equity fund. If at all you want to be a participant and learn from us a extremely detailed analysis of how to pick uh, the right debt and equity fund, the details of the course is given to you in the, in the description below. And uh, I hope this video added a lot of value. Thank you so much for hearing us and I will see you around. Thank you.